Remember when they hated, didn't think we make it Now they break their neck just to look at me Remember when I called you and you didn't fall through Now you hate yourself, you can't look at me, look at me yeah. You made me What's good with y'all? Uh, what time is it? Oh shit, I'm late. Handy dandy sweats, baby. Nah, come give me a hug. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Give me a hug. Mm. Alright, get down, get down. I gave you enough love. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Love you, bye. Protect the house, protect the house. So we were doing a bunch of Russia and we're finally here and today we got a special day a day y'all been waiting for The 300 ZX is finally getting ready to hit the dyno So you guys know my OG original tuner This is like the tuner that I swear by Lawrence is in town You guys remember he moved to Texas and he's been gone and it just so happened We finished 300 ZX while he's here. So he originally tuned my SR when it was in my S13 He's the one who originally tuned my SC um, basically tuned a bunch of stuff so you know the two people that I use are Lawrence and Kyle we're, we're getting this on the dyno and it's dope because I get my OG uh, tuner to tune it so Lawrence is like the tuner I swear 100% by he's like the Jay-Z god of tuning so everything he's touched has been just golden so I'm, I'm hella juiced that you know he fitted me into uh, getting here there was literally like 10 people on his waiting list and I told him like yo I need a tune fit me in please and you know, he got me in and allowed me to cut the line. So that's big love. Big, big, big love. I've been knowing uh, Lawrence for years and thank you Lawrence for getting me in, bruh. Thank you. My original SR tuner. This is dope. This is like a nostalgic moment. Can't wait. What's going on, man? So, bruh, how you doing? Gonzo, nice to meet you, bro. Mike, Mike. What's going on, dude? Dino time or what? Yep, what's up with it? What's up, what's up? Y'all ready? Two outer China? This blows up. We all coming for George. What? Hey. <laughs> it's an SR, bro. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so this is the first car that's getting tuned. This thing is sick. Sick. The goat himself? The goat? <laughs> So we guessing on horsepower, what you think it's gonna make? 726. 726? I told him 730. We putting in we putting in bets. What's your guess? 760? 777. 777? This is the owner, so he wants he wants like 800. He wants eight. We'll 
7.46. What'd you say? 7.46. 7.46? I'm gonna keep my guess of 7.30, 7.35-ish. Alright. <laughs> Let's see what this thing makes. And then for everybody that was asking, like, oh, what's up with the C5? The C5 is still here. I still got the C5. You know, y'all gotta, gotta keep up. We still got the C5. We got the carbon front fenders for it, so it's gonna be basically a twin of my C6. But it's gonna be much faster, so... This will probably be my second fastest car once this thing is done. It should be seven, eight hundred horsepower, easy. All right, so you ready? Is you ready? Yeah, as <laughs> ready as it's gonna be. So Cover he got. Hold on, he got this one J that's in there for Mike. So if it blows up, it's on Mike. Oh, dude. <laughs> uh, it's solid. So we might we might get to see a boxing match here. It's kind of handicapped because my boy Mike only got one arm now, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry if the mic gets distorted also this thing is loud in here and I only have this mic with me I didn't even bring my vlog back so sorry in advance hopefully it don't brick on us so you know shit gets real when you gotta have people sitting in the back of it how you know it is getting real. Woo! 394 horsepower. <laughs> you want wheel speed? Yeah. All right. It's about 13 degrees. Oh, so it's pretty low. Yeah. Say so it's in fuel cut? Uh, yeah, boost cut, yeah. Oh, it's still creeping? Fuck it. A little too much. 40 pounds of boost, you ready? Right. Send it! <laughs> yeah, send a rod. <laughs> Almost 570? Yeah. Should be making a little more than that. That boost level, a little on the low side. All right, so what's going on with the 240Z over there? Is it's looking like uh, the cam gears have too much overlap, so it's actually bleeding off boost. And what he needs to do is get some adjustable cam gears uh, to correct that. So he needs to degree the cams that way it isn't bleeding off. But this car, Lauren said about where it's at, it should uh, should should have made high sevens, probably about 800 but right now it's like five, 570. And what happens is if you turn the motor, motor over while doing a boost leak test, you can see a boost bleeding off. But then as you rotate it over, when the valves are actually closed, then you know the, um, it shows uh, pressure on the boost tester. So it definitely needs uh, cam gears to adjust that because it is uh, bleeding off right now. This is what happens when you go too aggressive cam and you don't degree the cams. So. That's all he needs to do. Once he does that, throw it back on. This thing will fucking be boogie in this little car. I think it's like a half mile car, so should should just yeah, should be safely around 800. Not bad at all for a 1J. Oh yeah, I forgot to show y'all. So since the last time y'all seen the ZX, seats all bolted down now. Cage is all bolted in too. Not going nowhere. So just about ready. Oh yeah, shout out NRG. You feel me? The fresh NRG jammies in there, you know what I'm saying? That cold start. Dang! You don't need no starting fluid. Let me see. Here, let me see. Let me do it. I got this. <laughs> hey, bro, she ain't going back. Man, y'all just not E85 specialists at cold starting. Here, let me see. I got it. Woo! To the professional world. I smell it. Jesus, you kind of just fall in this thing. <laughs> you are a specialist. 
Come on, bruh. That's fucking right. What, so what's in it now? So, uh, billet mains, uh, S1 cams, um, it's got a... The VVT, right? Uh, no. Oh, okay. It's got a Carrillo, uh, or, uh, I forget what Pistons ran, so it's a running 9, 9.0 compression. Okay, okay. Um, full, fully built, uh, everything's done, so... What injectors? Uh, ID 1700s. Okay. But what, turbo? Uh, 6870. Too. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that'll probably be fine. If we need to spice up the E85, we'll put the good stuff in it to okay. bring the off Yeah, up. And I got some night red, too. Oh, okay, cool. So, okay, so I brought it all. Awesome. Right. Bringing out the big guns. Val! Valtronic! That's dope! That's hella sick! That's baller shit. I know. So a little cleanup on the Supra. Let's soak for a minute, and it'll clean all this stuff. This little the filter housing ended up pulling through. Crazy, like you see the threads. So it sounds okay. Hard to say, but I did check. Uh, I put four quarts in. So this is the last pull on the Supra. This is gonna be 32 pounds of boost. 32 PSI right here. Thirty-three, right there. Nice. Was off a little bit, but <laughs> that's good. That's, that's not, not bad. bad. How much you guess? Eight twenty. Twenty-two, right? Yeah, eight twenty. You said like all the other cars. Eight thirty-three. So I mean, yeah. we got a loose leak. Yeah, maybe. It might, it I, might be. Uh, I think it's Eighty-seven percent injected. I mean, your fuel pressure wasn't dropping. The V didn't get weird. So I'm gonna jack up another five to seven just to get the injected duty down. <laughs> but uh, no, it's, it's using the fuel. Yeah. At this point, we're gonna so, have to jack the fuel pressure way up. Here we go already. So Lawrence checking some wiring. It's perfect though. At least we got the right person doing it. If it was ever to break down and not run on the dyno, 
this will be the person to fix it. Always Luckily. Always fix it. Man, we always having wiring shit. You might have a bad map sensor. That or if somebody repinned this wrong. But we do have sensor ground. We do have signal and we have five volt reference. So it's very likely you got a bad map sensor. Luckily for me, I ended up having an extra map sensor. I had just brought a five bar map sensor for the yeah, SE. So uh, I'm using the SE map sensor here. This is a three bar previously, but now we're switching over to a five bar. So uh, definitely have to retune everything, rescale it, but the map sensor was bad. So a uh, new map sensor in, he's doing the wiring right now on that thing. And then uh, we'll, we're gonna strap this thing down and hopefully everything goes smooth. But uh, I do need to order a new map sensor for the SE right now. I think they're actually getting ready to work on the SE next door. Uh, they're getting ready to, to start um, doing the custom fab setup for the four inch exhaust. So let's go over here real quick. Y'all can see this thing is getting ready for all my SE people. They're finally back on it. Finally, man. Finally. So what are we, what are we doing? Are we just racking this up to look like we're doing it? Or are we actually doing it now? No, it's just, it's just, there just the you. aesthetics. <laughs> it's like, oh, that fool's next door. Let's pull a car and act like we're about to do something to it. You work, what, what are you doing? The SC's on the lift, bro. You're supposed to be on that thing. Man. This car. <laughs> so it's gonna blow up anyway. It got a D in it. You might have to use like an RX-7 FD radiator. Question. I mean, alternator. We, we doing, we working on it or are we just aesthetically putting it up there to look like it? What, the SC? Yeah, let's get up there, right? Are we working now? We doing work? No, we're just looking at it all day. Ah, oh, killing me, yo. No, we're gonna catch the waste case on, dude. I'm always- Cool. Man, she sounds smooth. Uh, as soon as I said she sounds smooth, it died. I be jinxing shit when I say stuff. <laughs> Man, this thing sounds way smoother than what it did before. So exactly like I said when I said I hope we don't have an injector problem, so. right now we're having an injector problem. So one of George's clients that's over there next door, his roommate actually has an SR, he has ID, uh, top feet set up, ID 1050 injector. So I'm about to go pull pull the injectors and stuff off of his car, get them, and then we're doing a top feet injector setup right here right now. And hopefully this, like man, yeah. we're trying to get this thing done because Lawrence is in Texas and he's rarely ever out here so I need to get this thing done today so this is it's this is gonna be expensive it's gonna be expensive so as soon as Lawrence gets these plugs in I'm gonna be like hey pull this off the dyno <laughs> pull, it, pull it off a car off the dyno and I'm about to start pulling this fuel rail off that way we can get the new fuel roll on once it gets here. So let's get this shit off real quick. All right, so here's the new injector setup right here. Radium fuel rail with the ID 1050s. These are the 1050 X's. So these are like their newer style with the stainless bodies. So let's see, uh, this is gonna take some tweaking, but I need to get these on. I just pop the o-rings out for the for the new ones because these are obviously smaller and then i need to figure out how i'm gonna do the return line uh, i need two two dash six ans this one already has an an dash six so i just need two fittings right here and then the return was like the uh, plug-in style like that one so i need to get rid of that and use the an line so definitely got some stuff to do but since this already has an an i could probably just pull this off and make this a full an line so hopefully we have the rest of the stuff here that way i can get this done real quick all right, go ahead, prime it for me. Uh, yep, we're at 50 PSI and I don't see any leaks. Cool. So Lawrence is happy with the ID one or the ID 1050s. He swears by these things. Consistent AFR now. Try 
right again. Take two. I'm gonna strap it back down to the dyno. <laughs> Finally, here we go. Look at that rear fitment though, yo. Look at that rear fitment. Yo, what the f is this? Bruh, it's like Helen. My poor vets over there getting beat up. It's really Helen. Like, it's Helen out here. What in the? So you got all the old residue from when I put the turbo on, finally burning off. So we're doing this little test. We'll see if this thing starts airing up during a pool. You can see right here where, where this is, what Lawrence is gonna do, is he's gonna ramp boost in in the mid-range because he knows I wants to autocross and probably drift this car. So he's gonna ramp boost in right here and he's gonna get this curve to, to come up more. That way we have more torque. So we'll probably be somewhere around the same peak power, so about 412, but we'll also have about probably like 400 to 420 foot-pounds of torque. So that's what the, the ramp and the boost in right here is gonna do. So we're gonna pack about 24 pounds in here and then it'll fall off to about 19, but we're trying to get that mid-range for drifting, you know, because I'm gonna be sliding this thing, you know what I mean? But yeah, this man's the GOAT, bruh. Super GOAT. But yeah, y'all know that this car made uh, 490 before. I downsized the turbo because I wanted more torque, more mid-range, um, and realistically, it'll keep this motor alive a lot longer, so. Uh, I was set on lowering the power anyway. The goal was like 430, 450, but whatever. You know, it still makes over 400. I'm gonna have damn near probably about 60 foot pounds of torque more than what I had before. So if this car realistically might not make the numbers, but around track and around town, the car will feel faster than what it was at. Because before I was making like, I started getting into power at like 4,200. I was making full boost at like five grand and we're revving it to eight. Whereas now I'm at full boost at like 4,000 RPM. Uh, it makes more torque, so it obviously it spools up a lot quicker and we're not revving as high, so the motor will last a lot longer. Uh, right now we're revving it to like 72 and I think this turbo is only making power to like 67, so I'm about to have to cap my limiter at 7K. Uh, but we'll see what this next graph looks like to see if we actually were able to pack the uh, more boost in and the mid range to increase the torque. So that's what we're going for. We're going for matching horsepower and matching torque.
So the difference in the ramp is gonna be like right here. Oh shit. Yeah. That's the drift, the drift, the drift, the drift boost curve. Ooh, look at that curve. Woo. Go back, overlay it again. Damn, it picked up hella mid range. Yeah, ramped in 22 and then dropped in uh, 19. Ooh. A light, look at right here. Yeah, it's a big difference. Yeah. It's over 50 horsepower difference, so it should be quite a bit more torque. So what do you think the torque is? Probably the same as horsepower. So 420, 420? Mm -hmm. This is gonna be fun. So on the other, other, blah, 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 the other setup, we made, we made four, 486, but it was only, it was like 360 foot pounds of torque. Yeah, yeah it was. Yeah. This is gonna feel nasty. Oh, I can't wait to drive this. Take it to the first event. This is gonna be hella fun. I think this will probably be the most I've made, uh, most torque I've made out of my SRs. I've always had the GT30 on there, so it was always hella laggy and just made power, but this should feel hella fun. It's like a baby V8. You take an LS and cut it in half and, and flip it straight up and down. This is what this is. <laughs>